Pastor St. Andrew United Methodist Church inviting you to join us here at St. Andrew when you're in the St. Louis metropolitan area. We're located at 3975 North U.S. Highway 67 in Florissant, Missouri. Uh, it is a suburb of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, join us each and every week at 8 a.m. and 1045 a.m. for worship, 930 for faith development, small group and Sunday school, 915 for refreshment time. Join us online at standrewumc.net, our website spelled S-A-I-N-T-A-N-D-R-E-W-U-M-C dot N-E-T. Uh, and like us on Facebook at St. Andrew UMC. That's S-T-A-N-D-R-E-W-U-M-C. We're still talking about what it means to be a witness as we, uh, for the year 2012 at St. Andrew, talk about the basics, the basics of Christian faith, the basics of what it means to be a follower, even the basics, uh, those things that challenge us in our faith as we uh, walk through and live through our lives. We're talking about uh, in the month of June, June 3rd, uh, we're still talking about Louder Than Before. Um, it's based upon a song by Jeremy Camp, a, a, a amazing young Christian um, artist who sings about what it means to share your faith and how we shouldn't be silent. Acts chapter uh, 1 and 8 uh, says, you will be my witnesses. And that's what the first century church had to do. Uh, we who are the church of today in current history, we must be louder than before. This week, my sermon is titled Bridge Building Witnesses. I'm using the text from uh, the Gospel of John and from uh, the book of Acts, because that is where it talks about the formation of uh, the church in the first century or the first century uh, or the first church. Um, let me read uh, two verses for you. John 13, 35 says, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. That's John 13 and 35. 13 chapter 35th verse, Acts chapter 3 uh, says it this way, Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. Two very important messages. First message is that people knew uh, who were Christ followers, um, people who uh, claimed uh, to be followers of Jesus Christ, uh, God uh, in the flesh, uh, who came to know others through their agape, their uh, uh, unmatching uh, love for other people, uh, even people that uh, they may not have known or that at one time may have, they may have considered them enemies. Love one another. That's what the Gospel of John reminds uh, those uh, followers it, through Jesus Christ that we are to love one another. That's what followers of Christ, uh, they do. They love one another and people look at that and um, follow after their example or at least want to know more because of their example. After Jesus had ascended, and um, this is much later in the New Testament, when the church is just forming, a, a phrase that is powerful simply says, look at us. What do people see today when they look at us? Do they see people building a bridge from what they learned and their knowledge of God and what God has done in their life and how God has benefited us in Christ through the church, through our congregation, um, through uh, what we have benefited in our relationship with God? Or do they see um, a different worldview or a worldview that may not be so different from people who don't even claim to have any kind of um, a, a faith or belief or practice. We're going to be talking about how to build bridges from what we know and what we love and what we care about um, in uh, Christ and in the church and uh, through our faith. How do we build bridges to those who may not know uh, or even think that they should know 
what it means to be a devoted follower, a follower of God in Jesus Christ. We are thinking about ways to be louder than before, witnesses with bold faith and bold practice and people that other people want to be engaged with and around because our lives are examples of hope and faith and love and caring and joy and freedom. Join us each and every week here at St. Andrew online, as I told you before. One is very important to us. Our vision is we are creating community in Jesus Christ. And as you leave uh, this invitation, remember one thought, one action, one prayer, one thought, one action, one prayer can change the world through you. Remember, you matter to God and you matter to us.